Yaman a leader and you know who they are, you see me? Yaman, dig up to all of the real fire and then see him, you see me? Leader and one of them, you know? What me say? Leader and one of them, and you know we have to do the thing right, Zane. It surprised me that, I mean, a lot of people find this strange for father to do them thing. Yeah. Oh gosh, jeez. So daddy's washing and Haven is just sitting down yeah, like, I want to wash yeah. too, daddy. Yeah. Um, it has been said that when a father is present in a child's life, the child is more likely to do well academically and socially. Although Dennis Cunningham didn't get that opportunity, he is still, or he's probably more intent on setting that example for his children and for other men to look at. So he's here with us this morning, entertainer named Lee Dan, but his birth name, Dennis Cunningham, joins us this morning. Thank you for being here on Smile Jamaica. Yeah, I'm really it's not Happy grateful. Father's Day, but I feel, like, I feel like telling you that because a lot of Jamaicans are celebrating you now. Yes. Um, since that video came out, do yes. you know how many people have seen it? Have any idea? Uh, well, it's so much, you know, because even I post the video to my Facebook page and like now it, the video since about tw over 27,000 views and you know, a lot of people, you know, have been posting it all over. Mm -hmm. And you know, it started out with tropics, you know, you know, and, and the Instagram, you know, so. Then you the star? Yes, and then, you know, the star, <laughs> and then, you know, everybody, you know. But you have said that it, it's, is it su it's surprising to you that a story like this would go viral? Why? Well, you know, to a lot of people, it is, it is strange because when they look at a youth like me, you know, like they didn't expect, you know, a youth like me to be doing that. People look at me like, you know, you would like him, you know, they don't see that, you yeah. know, but they say looks are deceiving, you know, so, but, you know, I mean, that, that's just me because growing up, I never really see my dad do those kind of stuff, you yeah. know, and, you know, I want to take my thing to a different level and also to, you know, to encourage the world and, you know, show young youth like myself that, you know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, I mean, playing the full role because, you know, if you don't have the mother around, you know, what you're going to do, your child is going to suffer, so. Even if you don't have the mother around. Yeah, you have to do it, 100%. You know, I found it interesting. I share your point of view because a father washing his daughter's clothes, for that to be something that people are saying, oh gosh, what a good man. Um, it's unfortunate that we're at that place in our society where yes. this is seen as a big deal because it's something that... It shouldn't be so strange yes, to see. Yes, that's true. But then you said you grew, you grew up without your dad. And if you had to well, rate him, it would be kind of like a 20 out well, of 100. All right. My dad was around. Yeah. I understand. But, you know, I would say my mom, my mom was doing more. You understand? Because my father was a farmer. And my mother would do like hustling in the market. So, you know, my mother used to sell in Mantigo Bay Market and stuff. But... You know, my mother is like a mother and a father because, you know, when we can go to her, you know, sometimes we can't even go to daddy, you know, so it's always on mommy's shoulder, even with school, you know, it's my mother sent us to school, you understand, and it, it's, she has eight of us, and you know, and almost, I'm the one, I'm the only one that made it, you know, almost, yeah. you know, finish high school, made it. You yeah. know, finishing but high school. But it was tough yeah. for you to lead on because you, you dropped out of high school. Yeah. Um, you had the, your first daughter who's six. Yes. <clears throat> and you, you had her from you were, from she was two months. Well, by yourself. Um, almost one month old. You know, because by, by my you? yeah. So that time, you know, they said they they, they like the the the. The baby mother, like her mom said, you know, the baby can, can, cannot stay, but I was working, so I just go and I take her and I bring her to my mom because, you know what I mean, I used to work, I work, you know, I work in the hotel mm -hmm. industry, so mm -hmm. my mom, you know, would take care of her while I'm working and, you know, I would just, you know, bring in the groceries, the snacks, everything, and, you know what I mean, take care of her. But even when you fell on hard times? Because you lost that job. Well, I, over the years, I've, I've fell on, you know what I mean, lots of hard times, you know what I mean, in and out of jobs, I understand, but I never give up. You know, I think in 2014 was, you know what I mean, was the hardest time because that's the first time I, when 
the first time I actually lost, you know what I mean, my real job. And, you know, I didn't really have an, any really support, you understand. It's just the only person that was really there was um, my current baby mother now, mm -hmm. you know. She stood by me and, you know what I mean, there was times when, you know, I couldn't pay the bills, you know what I mean, no money, no food, nothing. And, you know what I mean, I was really struggling and, you know what I mean, there was no one really around that I could really, you know, look out, look to for, you know what I mean, really financial assistance, you know. And, but, you know, at one point I feel like, you know, I was going to give up, seriously. You know, understand, because, you know, all the friends I used to have that I share with and that, you know what I mean, I work, you know, and I share, you know, in, we work in the tourism thing, you know what I mean, so work around the tourists, so. You know, we would do stuff for the tourists to make money and stuff and, you know what I mean, I've met so many people in that field also and, you know what I mean, and... Nobody more, was there to help Yeah, you. nobody, yeah, almost nobody, you understand, and it was a time when, you know what I mean, seriously, I was planning to, <laughs> I was looking for my spot on a tree, you know what I mean, because it, it reached that point where, you know, I feel I, I was so stuck, you know what I mean? Nothing was working, working out, nothing coming my way, you understand? But I remember my little girl and, you know, her, she didn't have a mother, you understand? So I just, I just have to, you know what I mean, hold on and then mm. I just keep fighting. So I'm always at the point where, you know, I'm starting over, always starting over. I understand? Mm. And, you know, my daughter, she's, a, she's like my best friend, my big, my big daughter. I understand she she loves me so much. You know, you, you look at people sometimes. I tell you, you know, it's it's a lesson I've been learning more in the last couple of months. So you look at people sometimes, and you just don't know. You know, some people may be acting out or acting up, and you give them a wide circle, or you you class them as X. Or you really don't know what people are going through in their lives, and how just even a word of encouragement. Yeah, and help them. That's true. Um, because for you to have been looking for your spot on a tree, yeah. and not to end up, you know, in a situation where uh, things I mean, things may not be a hundred percent great, but you're still here. Yeah. And you're still fighting. Yeah, because you know, I find salvation in my struggle. I understand, you know, I mean, that time when you know I, I didn't really want to give up then. You know, because you know, I grew up in church, and then in the struggle, you know, I I I can't get back close to God, you know, mm -hmm. and I start praying and praying and praying and praying, and you know, what I mean, <clears throat> for over those years, it doesn't matter what situations I find myself in, you know, God always provides, you know, He always make a way for me. Yeah, I understand, you know, but I'm really grateful because there are some people that helps me along the way also, you know, and I'm never, never ungrateful. Okay, so t tell us what you're doing now. You know, you're trying to, to make it as an artist. That's yes. your full-time job. Yes. <clears throat> um, you're a certified lifeguard. Yes. You're a certified waiter. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so whatever possibilities there are. Oh, there. This is a young man who is, and he didn't ask me to do this, but you know, sometimes you feel moved to do. Um, Dennis Cunningham is a man who is taking care of his two daughters, and he has skill sets that he can use. And um, I just feel like you were sent here this morning for a purpose and a reason yes. that's going to manifest <laughs> after this. Yes. Um, thank you for coming. Yes. God bless you and your daughters, yes. Haven and. And Diana. And Diana. Yes. Six years old and how old? Six years old and the other one is one year old, one you know. Year. And you know, what I really want to know, you know. Giving I, me I the need, last word. Yes, I need, I need some interviews, like from, you know what I mean, the people who are on the, the, the major music platforms, you know, because right. I have so many good songs out, so much uplifting songs mm -hmm. and all of that, you know, but I need, I don't know if I can call the other TV, um, it, it, no, there, it, it's know, not but, quite well. Hopefully, you know, from this morning they will see yeah, and they you'll will get some see, but I need, you know, I We're need gonna play one to go to break and see <coughs> yeah, and man. see what can happen for you. But thank you for coming in this morning. Yeah, man, and thanks Lee Dan, for having he me. goes by the name yeah, Lee Dan, man. Dennis Lee Cunningham <laughs> is his real name. Thank you. Amazing to have you with us this morning. Yeah, Take man. a break on smile, and uh, we'll be right back.